The is not null validation rule does the exact same thing as the required validation. The only difference is if somebody does not put data into your field, you can write your own user-friendly error message that tells them what to do. But in effect, the required validation and the is not null do exactly the same thing. So let me show you how it works on my database table. I'm going to write an is not null rule for my type. So they have to, <coughs> excuse me, they have to enter a value in here. So all validations are done in the design view. So I click on view and design view. And then what I do is I move down to validation rule here. Now, before I start writing my validation rule, I must make sure that I haven't by accident written a required validation to. So this needs to be set at no. You cannot have it set as yes and do an is not null rule. So with this set at no, I go back to my validation rule and I simply type in the word is space not space null. There we go. Click onto validation text and the computer puts it into capitals. And now all I have to do is write my user friendly error message. So, sorry, you cannot leave the type blank. Please enter a value. Remember to spell check, check the spelling of your validation text message and also your punctuation. So that's done. I'm now going to say the validation. I get a reminder saying I might uh, have uh, overwritten uh, some data and they might change, but I know I haven't, so I press yes. So let's try it out. Let's click on the data sheet view to go back to my table. And I'm going to go and change uh, the dance here. So I'm going to delete it. So there we are. I haven't typed anything into that field. I'm going to move on to my next field. And there you go. I get my user-friendly error message saying that I have to fill it in. I cannot leave it blank. So I'll click OK and type it in and press Enter. And there we go. So that is the is not null rule. Exactly the same as the required validation, except you can put in your own validation text message.